The Minister of State for Youth, Ronald Chibure, a birding politician and a hand-picked protege of the president, lives a colorful lifestyle. But since he was quoted in the Daily Monitor newspaper making a pronouncement that it's justified to rape women in miniskirts, Chibule has faced a backlash which brought him back to earth. It's a criminal matter. Madam Speaker, as a parent, I'm not in Canada. Politicians, women activists and the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, and avowed feminist activists were jolted by his remarks and demanded his resignation. When he was given a chance to respond during the plenary, Chibule this afternoon cut a full-on and dejected figure. It's a matter of time. Shortly before he made his way to the house, he told NTV it's not true that he uttered those statements. That's going to be me. I'm against that. Arguing that he was a father of two daughters and a supporter of gender parity, he would never make such statements. I'm an advocate. At one point last year, I remember recommending that girls should be given paper spray as a defensive mechanism. So I have not changed. However, Chibule said he would not back down on his criticism for indecently dressed women. But when I see them on board, the borders then covering themselves, it's a shame. He was backed by ethics minister Father Simon Lokodo, who is a leading exponent of the anti-pornography bill, which seeks to outlaw the miniskirts. I support my colleague because that is exactly what we want to put in place, a culture of dignified persons. Chibule's remarks also came at the time of threats to censure the minister by his colleagues in parliament. Women and youth activists earlier today also condemned Chibule's remarks and demanding his apologies. Maurice Ocho, NTV at parliament. <laughs>